Okay, we now move on to agenda item seven, county management report. Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman, the commissioners, I'd like uh, Mike to give you an update on our uh, closed road and our sinkhole. Um, yes, sir. Last Thursday, we had geohazards out of University of Florida and come up and do some uh, ground penetrating radar. Uh, they're going to do some additional testing tomorrow uh, and Wednesday. Hopefully, by the end of the week, we'll have all of the results taken care of uh, and we can uh, determine what our next step is, whether that's uh, opening the road or whatever. And uh, I have spoke with the property owner this morning. Uh, the the sinkhole is still plugged. Whatever has got it plugged is it is still plugged. It is uh, still filling up with water, the groundwater that's seeping in. So that's that's a good thing. Uh, I guess, however, the bad thing is uh, it's still uh, sloughing off uh, on the on the sides. And um, so he, he said that ju you know just about all the way around that it had uh, it is continuing to slough off. So. We'll, you, we'll hopefully know more this week. Do you have that uh, road blockage secure where people aren't moving yeah. barriers and stuff? Yeah, they won't move uh, these. There's, there's concrete barrier walls out there now. They, okay. I don't believe they can move them. Okay. Not without an excavator. <clears throat> Good deal. We still would encourage folks to please do not go out to this area. It is still considered unstable at this time. So we still need to take precautions about going out there. Um, I know it's something that you know a lot of folks want to see, but uh, uh, keep in mind that, it, that the actual sinkhole, the visible part of it, is on private property. So we need to be very, very cautious of that and not uh, not get into a situation of trespassing on private property just to take a look at what's going on right now. Of course, the concern from the county commission is certainly public safety. Also, from the standpoint of how long we'll be involved with the road closure of the Shiloh Road. Uh, Shiloh Road is, to me, is a, is a, is a major feeder corridor coming into Valdosta, and so it, uh, it, it has, the detour has inconvenienced a few, but in reality, if you really kind of look at the way the detour has been set up, it's been set up very efficiently, um, and, and some good forethought into that issue, and so again, um, public works and uh, engineering department and all thank y'all for your efforts in that and getting that area uh, secured and as well as trying to come up with the very best possible um, detour route and which I think we've done a good job of that I just wanted to thank Mike um, as, as well um, and, and I wanted to possibly suggest uh, that geological study that we was uh, uh, you know encouraged to uh, possibly look at last year I think it was uh, because we had one sinkhole uh, several months back and then you had the James Road issue and just to see if it's a pattern uh, of something going on I guess in that general region uh, I heard people say something about an underground river over there I don't, I don't know uh, well I think the issue and I don't want to take anything away from the county engineer but the issue on James Road was basically a compaction issue on the road bed when that road was uh, was reworked that was the actual issue there. It wasn't considered a sinkhole. However, we did have one sinkhole in that general area uh, probably five years ago out on uh, Snake Nation Road where uh, the efforts were to work with the sinkhole and however that became uh, very clear that that wasn't going to be possible and so the road had to be routed around. Uh, the, same, the same concerns uh, are, are, are being thought, thought through with the Shiloh Road issue. We certainly don't want to open up Shiloh Road um, to the citizens out there and to traffic coming across it and then all of a sudden we no longer have a Shiloh Road. We have a hole in the middle of it. So that's the reason for the additional study and the ground penetrating radar and those issues that they'll be looking at. And then I'm sure then at that point we'll have an opportunity to analyze all that information and then make a good decision on what we're going to do as we move forward. But right now, the concern is with the safety of the citizens of Lowndes County, and we want to make sure that they understand that that is a currently an unsafe situation out there, and they need to avoid that if possible. Take the detour routes. Anything else? Are there any other issues out there, Mr. Fletcher, like beavers? 
there's there's a couple of uh, beaver holes going into the to the side <laughs> of the dam, uh, which are which are not of uh, not of any really concern or caution to us. Uh, there's the one area in the bottom of the ditch that uh, that is of a concern to us. That's they're going to be doing some additional testing in that area tomorrow. Uh, be, I have a drilling rig out there and do some drilling and some density testing and things like that. But uh, but that's that's the main thing we want to do right now. We just we want to make sure that uh, that we're we've got the ground penetrating radar. We've got those results. Uh, but we just want to confirm a few things with uh, the the drilling rig and do some density testing, and and make sure there's uh, there are no issues that that we can't see right now. Thank you, Mr. Fletcher. Any other questions? Okay. Hearing none, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Move.